Hi everyone, I'm Bryce and welcome to our annual Vans Warp Tour at Lennon Bus AP Cover Stars live chat. We've got a bunch of guests with us today. Um, let's go ahead and go on down the line. We got uh, John O from the Maine, Garrett from the Color Morale, Hello. Tay from uh, We Are the Ink Crowd, <laughs> as well as Caleb from Beartooth, and our uh, veteran guest, Mr. Kevin Lyman. How's everyone today? How's doing? Well. Doing good. You know, we're sitting here doing in Pomona, it. California. Yes. Five minutes down the road, I grew up. So, you know, you guys got to stop by the bus. Everyone's family's there. There's extra beer. There's everything hanging out. I That's grew up awesome. Five minutes down the road. Um, so, uh, wow, one week into the tour. Yeah. And uh, you guys crossed half the country already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <man. laughs> Literally. You know, just, uh, you know, uh, how's your vehicles holding up? I think that's uh, usually like, you know, you're going down the road on the warp tour and everyone's looking out and, you know, stop, pick people up because everyone had yeah. success so, so, yeah. far. so far. We had so, yeah. a little snag with the generator, but it's, I think yeah. it's cool. Yeah, I did not have a generator at all yesterday. Really? Yeah, oh. From one o'clock oh. till nine o'clock on the no bus. And, you know, so it's like, do you want to get, we have, and we have no hot water in the bus. So yeah, it's Vegas kinda, probably was the hottest. So it's kind of like you can have, a, you know, the cold shower, but the hot yeah. bus. Yeah. Us, you know. So, you know, we're sitting here, and you know, one of the funniest things I think that, you know, when, when I see you, John, you know, out there, you're kind of like considered a veteran of the Warped Tour now. I guess so. I mean, It's you know, kind of weird to think <laughs> about, yeah. You know, I, you know, and then a lot of people are talking about, you know, being out there, but, you know, I see you guys out there working the line every morning. I mean, you know, do you still feel that, you know, it must be important to you? Do you feel that it benefits you guys? I mean, I, I think it's imperative, especially because we're unsigned, and we're, we're just doing it all on our own. Um, I mean, this platform is, is so great for a band like ours just because I feel like we, we've been disconnected from it for a little bit for, I mean, and this has been five years since we've done it. So uh, to get back on it, I think it's just really important that uh, we just, you know, I was about to say expose ourselves, uh, <laughs> but we, we, get our, we get our music back out there. <laughs> Yeah, um, please don't expose yourself. Yeah, I know, I know. Pretty young this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's like a main to catch a predator. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> right, Chris know. Hansen. You know, so, so you're out yeah, there, yeah, you're yeah. doing that, and then I saw you know, over in Europe, you know, we saw each other. Yeah, yeah. You'd be out there in the, the cold and the drizzle totally. and the rain working it. And I, to me, that's an impressive well, your work ethic, you know. You know, it's seeing bands out there working hard, you know, now in your business. I mean, you know, and you're, you guys are all out here. And Garrett, you know, this is really your kind of warped, you know. Mm -hmm christening i guess really. yeah we did uh we did the europe the yeah. europe christening and this is the first yeah. u.s experience yeah and, and and for you it's you know are you guys getting out there being meeting a lot of people and oh yeah i mean that's uh at the end of the day this this isn't for us it's for you know it's for kids it's uh they look forward to this for an entire year until the next warp tour it's you know the best tour of music so you know, so we talked that. So you know, we, you get in this road thing, and you know, everyone's dragging. I mean, you guys just saw me taking a nap here, like yeah, yeah. four minutes ago. I was taking a nap on the table here. <laughs> so you know, you know, when you're out there, you know, Caleb, you know, have you do you have anything special to keep yourself healthy out on the road? Um, just more than anything, water. Just drink so much water that it gets obnoxious. <laughs> I don't know. And maybe a multivitamin. And Tay, hey, you? Sleep. Were you out late last night? No, I didn't. I didn't go out. So, at so all. you know, is that that sense of like you know you know it was just be like rock and roll party party and say you know, like what did how many I'm of like, you went I last mean, night? Did any of you guys or did some just go? <laughs> you know, or was it? I mean, it was my birthday yesterday. Yeah, it was yeah. So, funny. yeah. yeah John, John and I gambled last yeah. night. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> I gambled for the first time ever. One twenty. Twenty dollars, big spender. Yeah, yeah. I, I, lost. I bet they were pouring the drinks on you last night for John that twenty bucks. Yeah, that was a, yeah, kind of out of character. And Tay, you you know you being out on the road, are you, you know anything special you you're doing out here? Any special secrets that like, you carry anything special with you? Or? Like I said, sleep. <laughs> well, he was saying yeah, too, then, it's it's got to be really hard to be a chick. Uh, yeah, I need time on the road. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. We played an early set today, and then I, I was telling my tour manager, I was like, I need. We have the, you know, the John Lennon bus thing in, in an hour. And he's like, yeah, it's in an hour. I was like, but I need more time than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, and now that's the thing. You know, playing early, playing late, you know. Well, you that's the thing. For me, I never know. So, obviously, none of us know what's, you know. We're yeah, play, God, so that guy, that right set schedule, I like get a little more. No, one of these days, right? <laughs> you know, and, but 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 you you kind of see, you know, I think the way you know yeah. it makes sense when you know you can play. And I mean, today we had over seventeen thousand kids in line at doors so wow. to come in. You know, uh, and it felt like it feels like a real warp show. I mean, we've been kind of getting things rolling. Yeah, we down check, and today's that day where it's on, like the totally. minute on, and. Totally. Uh, 
you know, do you, you guys tonight, you know, we're going to have a barbecue. Yeah. You're going to go to the barbecue, okay. grab oh, a little yeah. something before oh, you yeah. eat. Yeah. So, so with songwriting, you know, I, it's like, you know, are you guys doing any writing while you're out on the road? We got this John Lennon singer songwriter bus. You know, do you guys come in here, hang out, and write with them all day long? Or? I don't know, for cool. me personally, it's it's really tough to to ride on the road just because you're around so many people, um, especially on a bus. It's just for me, it's like it's got to be. I don't know. I find more like inspiration in the shower at yeah, home. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be a song like called "Hey Bro." Like, exactly. Everything's yeah. hey bro out here. Hey bro, you know, there's yeah. like no way you can remember everyone's <laughs> yeah, names. Yeah, I mean, the song would be "What time you, you playing?" Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like you know, it's like set. you're yeah. wandering by, and I, I, that was a strange thing for me. And you know, it was, used to be I toured with all my friends, and yeah. I think you guys are more now touring with all your friends. So there's, a, but it, it's it's so hard. I'm going, I'm going to try to remember everyone's name this no, summer. Totally. And it's like just turns yeah. into "Hey bro." You know? yeah. So you can write "Hey bro, where's my shower?" <laughs> you know, it's a great everybody. song. Yeah, yeah. That's a song, maybe a hit that can be written out yeah, here. You know, you know, but you know, it'd be kind of fun and. Um, take, I just said, you know, jewelry line, never take it off with yeah. Juliet Sims, you know, so it's going well. You know, we did, we launched a warp tour design. Any of you guys have like side projects or businesses, anything going on or just music right now? Just music. Just for, music. Yeah. Just yeah. Music. That's all there's time for. It. <laughs> like, yeah. Just yeah. music. I can't even just, think about anything else yeah. right just now. Like, just like, just life. It's just, yeah. I feel like I can speak for all of us when I just say this is who we are. It's what we do. Yeah. It's not yeah. really uh I don't think anyone on the couch looks at things business-wise before yeah. music-wise, you know? True, yeah. You so, mean first, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, well, if you laid it all on paper, you would never get in the business. Yeah. If yeah, you're that exactly. business, if you're a business person, you know, I always ask people in, in, in tour, it's like, did you get it, what do you, you know, you want to be in the music business to make money? I mean, if you raise your hand, you're probably yeah, yeah. you're probably making a mistake right now. But you know, yeah. when yeah. You, eventually you can make a living in it, and you, you figure it all out. And yeah. I think that extension of doing some jewelry designs and things is that you know a little. And I just, just know, like I know that uh, sort of my responsibility as a girl in our band, like you know, I know there's fans out there that look up to me and. and they like that kind of thing too, so it's nice. It's and not not to get like sidetracked, but I, I got caught up in a little controversy this week over an article that was written, and that's right. a, you know that and it was like you know that you know they're, the Warp Tour discriminates against women, right. you know, uh, and I and I don't think I don't think I think it's you know you I never you, have, felt that way. you had to, you know you, everyone has to just work as hard as possible, yeah, you know, absolutely. whether you're you're male, female, young, old, out on this thing, it's just everyone yeah. pulls together and exactly. is working out there. Yes. Totally. So. Yeah. Yeah. On the way out of the summer, just think of, you guys already thinking about the fall, you know, nowadays? Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, you yeah. know? Yes. Sure. You got your fall tours all lined up. Yep. yep. You probably got your winter tours all lined up. Nowadays, Army everything, like, everything yeah. works. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're like a yeah. year ahead. Yeah, everything already. works. So it used to be like you'd think with your friends, you know, when you were starting out, it was like, okay, let's do a band. And, and we were always like six or eight weeks out was like you were figuring out your next tour. Yeah, yeah. Like how far out is your plans going? Anyone Pretty can year. jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Sometimes a year. Ours are going into summer of 2015 Gosh. already. Right. Yeah. It's pretty wild. We're getting pretty close to that as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot can change in that time. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a lot can change. Yeah. You know, do you think that's a good thing? Or do you think that the business is now, you know, trying to jump out so far? Is it, are they thinking ahead or are they just trying to, you know, I don't know. I'm a little, Sometimes you know, this feels like they're, it's just trying to beat whatever you know it's it's you know involving the competition so sometimes you can kind of jump the gun and then realize you're on this tour where you should have done something else so think, sometimes it could be you know not as beneficial as you think it might be I think be, part of it too is a, just trying to combat like <clears throat> the where the perception of attention spans are yeah yeah and i think that that's like a really interesting thing because you feel like you know kids aren't or people aren't paying attention as long as they as they normally would, but I, I don't necessarily think that that's the case. I think that there's, I mean, th this you mean tour as far alone as, like, is, is like, yeah, as far yeah, as like yeah. you know just entertainment purposes. Yeah, it was strange for me. I I'm sitting there now like true. to stay ahead. You know, I'm not booking bands. I don't have to book. I don't do that. Yeah. But you know, I wait till the fall. But I had a whole venue as we were sitting on the bus the other day in, for 2016. Because wow. even though for our next summer tour, when we're trying to move this many people, we try to yeah, go yeah. in as straight a line as possible. It sure. may not look like it, but we try to. <laughs> uh, but you try to go in a straight line, and people are like, well, this, there, that venue's on hold for this. And we're like, whoa, that's 2015 summer. Yeah, yeah. And now we've got to, like, we started mapping out 2016 the other night that's on the crazy. bus, you know. Um, it's, it, it's, it's difficult. Um, spontaneity out on the road. What do you guys do, like, you know, just for fun? To keep you other divert, like play a lot of cornhole. 
Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So I've been, you know, I've been yeah, going by there. Yeah. I've been scoping you guys out. Yeah. Oh, I've got, yeah. It's about time for me to jump in and school. Totally. You know, you know, yeah. you know, jump in. Some painted cornhole. Yeah. yeah. I think it says dangerous. So do you? Dangerous dudes. They do too. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I don't know. The cool thing about warped is, is everybody's set time is differently, different every day. So, you know, when you're done, you can go see bands, yeah, and I think yeah. that's really cool. Anyone special that you guys seen that you didn't like knew know before? Seen, you? I haven't seen Finch yet, but that was like a childhood thing oh, of God. mine. What? Save was, the day as well. Yeah, yeah, I, like, yeah, I yeah. Watched totally. Them. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I watched them for the first time the other day, and it was. Amazing. They're doing this thing where they don't want to play two the songs same in a row. Set, yeah. It's so cool. So yeah. they just keep playing different songs. Yeah. Awesome. So, all right. Why don't we take a couple of these questions that have come in on Twitter? Uh, the interwebs. Okay. The Taylor Instagram. Walton at Army Babe 97. Advice for songwriters. Army Babe 97. I advice like for that. songwriters. <laughs> right. Looks like on a website. <laughs> Army Babe's not, not yeah. advice for songwriters. <laughs> advice for songwriters. What would you guys? Um, I mean, sincerity. Yeah. 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 Don't write. Yeah. Don't write lyrics. Write. Write life. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, and you'll see that, I think, probably. Do you guys write all, you know, you don't, you say on the warp Tour, but, you know, do you think that, you know, it's important to kind of keep writing, or do you just, when it's time to do an Absolutely album? Absolutely, no, just whatever, yeah. I mean, inspiration whenever it comes. comes whenever it yeah. does, yeah. Yeah. And Wait we're going to give Sarah Tinsley 98, it says, give her a shout out for her birthday. Shout shout out. Out. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Tinsley 98. Shout yeah. out. I don't know where I'm supposed out. to look. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> um, this is from D at DYG John. What is what is it about Warped Tour that keeps bands coming back more than once? You know, <laughs> it's yeah. such a yeah, fun, this is like a traveling nothing, energy, man. Yeah, there's Literally, this is like my it. yeah, this is my fourth full Warped Tour, yeah. and it's just it's the best way. Well, to spend I, the I always like to describe it as you you know you jump in a tornado for the summer. Yeah. yeah exactly. And you roll across, and then if you, you you're lucky, you don't get kicked out the side. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, you know, the first few days, if you know, like there's this thing, you know, you see people, and then they're gone, and even running the tour, it's like, what happened to that guy? Well, they had to let him go, or yeah, he yeah, just yeah, yeah. he just spun out, and then at the end, you start to see, and I think we're we're making that turn up the up the West Coast, and, and you start to see really who you're going to be on the road with. Totally. I mean, yeah. It's easy to recognize each other right yeah, now. Yeah. It's the dude with the glaze, everyone with the glazed face, and <laughs> oh, yeah. pulling something and a laminate, and and, and, and about. Yeah. Yeah. Eight shades darker than everyone else in the whole place, yeah. you know. It's a, it's the warp tour. Yeah. Look, I mean, it's funny how you get closer to the end of the summer, and no one has to ask you for a pass. Yeah. Right. Do you notice that, like security, totally. like yeah. yeah, they'll stop the kid that comes up because they can just tell <laughs> they're not warped to her. You know? Yeah. It's like, uh, <laughs> they can smell us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they already know. <laughs> okay, John, this is from at Stone Main. I'm Marcella. I live in Brazil, and I want to know how, who is Christina in the song So Criminal. Oh man, uh, that's a song that I wrote a couple years ago. Uh, I, I don't want to give her last name out, um, <laughs> but she's a lady back at home. Um, yeah. yeah. We'll leave it at that. Really We're right. just going to leave that's it at that yeah. right now. Because we all have that, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. well. <Exactly. laughs> like, uh, all right. I don't know. Someone wants to know if you guys would eat a tarantula for hundred bucks at Hold Tilly Mac. I got that tweet yeah. the other day, not. actually. So it's probably the same price. No, hundred bucks. I would need, need a lot more than hundred bucks to eat a tarantula. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's, no. ooh, All right. That's so cruel. you know, and then the creative process. This is Lost in Stereo at Pierce All Al, Al, Al Siren. Pierce All Siren. It's a lot of bands. Well, that's a lot of bands <laughs> all mixed into one little Twitter handle. What is the, your creative process? Ooh. ooh. Uh, for me, I know when I'm writing, it just depends on like the mood I'm in. It, it all actually depends on the mood I'm in. So to say it, most songs I usually start with like guitar, which I know a lot of people usually write vocals first or whatever, but I don't know. It, there's no like specific process for me. I just lock myself in my studio in my basement until the song's done and pretty, pretty much until I'm happy with it. Uh, all right, so. Yes. I gotta think of some yes. more things to talk about. What do you guys want to talk right about here. today? You know, like it's uh, oh. it's coming up to Fourth of July. Yeah. In, in Canada. Canada. Oh yeah. In Canada. I'm <laughs> going. <laughs> yeah. That, and everyone knows my anti-fireworks policy on the road, yeah, so yeah. I've, I've solved it by always being in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. We don't even have to discuss oh, it anymore. Jason, you know. Let me put you guys now. up in Canada. Speaking yes. of, so so Canada, you know, being you know, going overseas, you know, and touring now. Uh, you know, you've all been overseas this year. 
uh, well, at least once, I know mm -hmm. every one of you has. Uh, is it still exciting? Is, is it exciting? Do you get out and see the cities at all? Do you yeah. force yourself oh, to go yeah. do things oh, in yeah. each yeah. town? Of course. It's, it's cool having to. like familiarities too, like your yeah, yeah. your local little spots that you'll hit oh, up gosh, after yeah. the show, or your you know your your fans or friends that you meet, you know, that come back and you recognize yeah. and you, you know each other by first name basis. That's yeah. I remember really cool. that, like, the first time that we went to the UK, we ate Subway, like, every day. <laughs> because we were so unfamiliar with the, the whole Friends layout of, of the land. And now, like, you know, yeah, you can you can do whatever. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's you're yeah. getting more familiar. And it is that thing. I mean, I think it's really important for them because I see the same thing. You know, it's like, you know, do you, you know bands, you know, if you don't go out and explore. You know, we totally. used to tour with Warped Turn. The guys eating yeah. McDonald's every day because yeah, they didn't yeah. want to try the local food. Uh, you know, when you do that, do you, you know, do you just roll out with a couple of friends you meet at a show, or do you guys usually go out as a band, or ever we go out solo? Out yeah, we usually yeah. go out yeah. as a crew. Actually, yeah. crazy story, uh, Aaron, our guitar player, um, when we played in, I think it was the Alexandra Palace yeah. uh, Warp Day, yeah, he, uh, there was a park nearby, and he went out, um, he went out walking by himself late at night and got jumped by three guys. Good. So, he ended up getting, uh, getting, Hit a couple times and knocked down, and they they didn't steal anything from him. They ran off. Oh, I think they tried taking his wallet, that's but uh, so yeah, travel. Don't travel lightly at nighttime. It's, yeah, yeah, I think I think that's the thing we sometimes get we get comfortable. Yeah, you know, and I see that like you know the, the safest place on the warp tour is the parking lot. So, yeah, yeah. You know, and then you know people venture off and they forget the rule. You know, you forget yeah, rules yeah. of society. Sure. Like, and, and I think yeah. we've had that a few you know quite a few times. You get and I'm, I put myself in the same situation at times where you just you know, like head off into a city. Without thinking, and then all of a sudden you kind of wait, wait, you know, you start looking around, going, wait, yeah, but I, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. do that in my own exactly. neighborhood, you know, yeah. it's kind of thing. Yeah. I'm glad he was okay. The you know? Yeah, he was, he was a little shaken up. He was fine though. He was oh. made for a, a very energetic and aggressive set that day. <laughs> <laughs> and a great story. And a great story. Yeah. And a story. And a story you learn from the road. Uh, you know, so you, 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 you know, you, you guys get involved in any of the nonprofits out here with Warp, or any of you guys been, been out there yet, meeting anyone, yeah. or have your own nonprofit you're working yeah, with? Yeah, I've, I've been working with uh, Hope for the Day and Heart Support. Um, yeah. Heart Support actually, actually has a, a color morale shirt at their booth. Um, I've been spending a lot of time with both of those organizations nonstop, like daily. Yeah, we just started chatting with Hope for the Day, and cool. I just met the guy yesterday, and it's really awesome. I mean, that that whole thing for us, it's a really tough thing to to try to figure out, you know, how to exactly articulate, you know, suicide prevention. And yeah. that's always been a real thing for me is, is wanting to say something but not knowing how to say it. Um, right. So. And in that circumstance, in that circumstance, it's really hard Absolutely. to know what to say because you, you got to yeah. be careful yeah. to say the wrong thing, you know. And, yeah. And that problem can be a, a lot worse. Uh, you know, you, you, the canned food drive. Have any of you got a chance to go out there in the morning and see? You know, do you yeah. guys ever see what's going on with that thing? The other day, they had it was like the whole tent was full. It was I saw awesome. that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or skip the line. Amazing. I was, you know, I'm looking out there. They're they're loading up the vans. That's you can great. see them out in the back, at, over to the left, over there. They're loading them up, and I think it's going to be about 10 tons of food a day. Wow. So oh, that's wow. Awesome. I picked up. So the kids out there have been helping Jeez. out. Come when you're coming out to the show, throwing the cans in and anything, and and uh, you know. Do you think do you think music and, and politics and causes is still as important as it used to be, or the resurgence of it? I or? think it is. I think so yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 what other platform do you really have? I mean, yeah. other than like reality television or something like that, you know what I mean? I haven't seen a reality television do good for anything. No, really. exactly. <laughs> you know? that's what I'm saying. You know? Kardashians aren't really you know doing much for politics or you know, but. That's, yeah, that kind of that kind of correlates with the you know having having more suicide prevention and awareness organizations on board yeah. uh, with the tour. It's you know those those are real statistics. You know, every yeah. thirty seconds, a kid under eighteen takes their life away. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's a, it's prevalent every day for me. I spend a lot of time at our merch table, a lot of time you know with with those two organizations, and that's that's what a lot of kids. Need help with yeah. is how to yeah. how to be how to stay alive in such a such a screwed up society. You know? yeah. yeah, I mean, even for me, like that's something I've dealt with personally since you know I was a kid since I was probably 11. That was like a very serious thing that I'd been dealing with, and I mean, still deal with to this day. So I know that for me, that's probably I think one of the most important you know types of organ like nonprofits there can be because right. I mean, it's just that's that's everything. That's your yeah. life. 
there's yeah. nothing else after that. So. No, no, and you know, and I think that you know that, that that's a thing universally. You know, through music, sometimes you know people with me, it's like you know, uh, you know, this is not punk anymore. What are these bands? And I go, they're still speaking to the bands, the kids in the same way. Yeah, just, you, got, right. you guys are just singing to them. It just sounds a little different than when I was around GBH or the yeah, bands I grew up with. And I said, you can't judge where it's at, because I think a lot of the warped kids find a community out here. I think oh, that's yeah. one of the reason we do this. They find friends year round and yep. and that kind of support each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see kids traveling. <laughs> <laughs> to multiple warp tours, totally. and they come together at each show. Yeah, I'm like, sure oh, on, on the respective shows, yeah. too. I mean, you yep. find people that you've known for yeah. a long time. It's great. It's really wild. That's definitely All right, stuff. so on a lighter subject, <laughs> on a lighter subject, <laughs> yeah. we're going to, uh, you know, uh, what's the band? We're going to ask you really quick, you know, band you dream to tour with someday. Uh, oh, I'm so bad at this. The Replacements. Yeah? Yeah. That's a tough one, because it's like... Jimmy World's my favorite band yeah, of all I'm, time. I was going to be my answer. But I don't know how my band would do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's like, hey, I got us on the Jimmy World. You're the one. I would, I would yeah. have to say face to face for me. Nice, nice. Yeah. Nice. I have mine is actually Jimmy World, so. Or Foo Fighters, one or the other. Oh, yeah. can I? Ooh, Foo Fighters. <laughs> I go back. I go back. Right. Yeah, Foo, Foo Fighters for sure would be. Well, that's unique. Chris Shiflett was actually in No Use for a Name, yeah. who was on the first Warped Tour in 1995. Wow. Oh, wow. And so he was out here on the Warped Tour, so it's always great to see you know, Chris now. He'll probably be out. I bet it'll be at the, if they're in town. I don't know if they're playing this weekend, but he'll probably come up to the Ventura show. He'll be around there. And, uh, you, know, you know, we're just going on, and, uh, you know, I don't know how much longer. How much longer have we got on this thing today? What, five minutes? Okay. So we're going to have Caleb... Ask Tay a question. Oh boy. Yep, you gotta go. Okay, okay, okay. If you've got Tay a question, I'm running out of him today. And then oh. we're gonna have John ask Garrett a question and see how that goes. Oh, okay, God. so all um, right. So if you're doing the interviews right now, you know? All right. Just pulling out of the hat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's not that easy, you guys, doing this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they write me a script, and I'm horrible at them. So you, you, you might want to borrow. Oh, you, yeah, might yeah. Might, you know, you guys might want to borrow the scripts because I never ask the questions they do. So you can always ask, you know. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know what. <laughs> he had the best show. <laughs> What was? I don't see, know. look at, look at, see. So, so, so I'm doing this today. right now because you know a lot of times it's like these people are, you know, you're on a show, and you're doing interviews in the band, and like and it's not easy. No, Those people have easy. to come up with it, keep it interesting, oh, keep yeah. it kind of good, oh, and, and this is longer. That's why like Letterman, those guys keep people on for about two minutes. Right. Yeah. You yeah, notice yeah. they have never have anyone on more than yeah, two yeah. or three minutes yeah. because really it's it's hard to engage like past two or three minutes in life oh, anymore. Sure. Yeah. So okay, we're gonna just go back to a couple of these questions because oh, these guys I'll in the bus here. Uh, okay, there, yeah, okay, yeah, there you go, go. okay. What would, uh, what would you recommend for, for a day of warp Tour for somebody uh, attending? What would you recommend they, they bring or they, they prepare for? Um, I would recommend that they go and watch as many bands as they can that they're not familiar with or they've never heard, mm. uh, even bands they've never heard of. Um, I think a lot of us get really stuck in closed-mindedness and kind of writing off things that we don't understand right off the right off the bat. So I would say, bring yourself with an open mind and, and watch as many bands and, and just support and respect artists and music in general <laughs> as you can. That was deep. That that hit me right here. Yeah. All right, good night. I got to rethink a lot of things in my life. Yeah, well, like Caleb, have you gotten over and checked? You know, you're doing some electronic stuff. In, you know, back. Have you gotten over to the stage to see what's going on over there? At all? I haven't seen anything there yet. I haven't had time. I've, this has been an insanely busy year with things like band happy, teaching yeah. kids production lessons, and it, I watched you know, uh, interviews uh, and uh, press. Uh, okay. One OK Rock. One OK Rock, yeah. So cool. Oh, yeah, they're, they're awesome. So well, it's, it's great because One OK Rock's this band that we found. They play arenas in Japan. Yeah, I know. And yeah, you can just right. tell, like, when they're playing. Oh, yeah. They're, like, looking yeah. to the back row of the arena, even though there's, like, 10 kids in front. Yeah, they're, they're looking to the, the they're nicest guys. They're back, guys the nicest too. guys. We took them whitewater rafting. Yeah, yeah they're they're we, nice they 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 wanted to go whitewater rafting and, and I think they had the time with they yeah. you know, so them. Nice. And they're super humble, like they, yeah. they play yeah, arenas there guys. and they're here, you know. Yeah. Like, they want to become just... a band, you know, touring in America. Yeah. And I think sometimes those bands.
bands from Japan. I used to work with a lot of uh, with J rock bands, like yeah. with yeah. Yoshiki X Japan and Fact, you know, yeah, yeah, Fact, and you know, and then Desperate yeah. and stuff. When, when they first come to America, Derek Gray, they show up with like 38 people. Mm -hmm. They're entourages. They're arena oh, yeah. entourages. <laughs> and by the time they get done with like touring and learning about, work, you know, they're down to like a normal touring band plus maybe a couple people, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. But you know, they they've learned how to tour, you know. <laughs> so if you if you could give one OK Rock, you know, it, it, one piece of advice to tour in America, real quick, we'll just go through that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. They're already killing yeah. it. Like I don't think they even need advice. Their it, their mentality, yeah, everything just is just get so... get up there and play the same set they'd be playing yeah, in they, arena to however yeah. they're playing. Too, it's great. You know? And just go laugh. up and kill it. Man, like, People kill it. watch their set and they go, okay, like they're I I was standing yeah, side stage one, looking at the yeah. crowd. Okay. And they're like. Yeah, yes. you can just tell a you can <laughs> you can just tell like a seasoned band yep. like they've, that that has been playing yeah. and things yeah. like that. Where a lot of times on the Kevin says it's bands like you know maybe I don't know, some of you have played that at some point. Or it's like people starting out a lot of fresh stuff and right. trying to think, but it's mostly run on energy versus technicality. And yeah. those guys are up there, like energy Killing and technicality, <laughs> kind of just knows how to how to kind of pull it off no matter yeah. who's out there. It's like us going over there. You know, it's you just try to embrace it. You yeah, know, yeah. Right. Eat food you can't pronounce. Oh, right. I mean, exactly. like, I got a game, like, if you ever go to Japan, like, we do it on the road over there. I just, but we used to have this thing, we'd go to any restaurant, and you just had to order off the menu. Oh, they have the pictures? Non -ing, no yeah. pictures. No, oh, they didn't, no you have to go to the Japanese okay. restaurant where nothing's in English. They usually have pictures. And, <laughs> and you just have to point. And, and you just one. point, and you get it, and you have to eat it. And I like that. Oh. And I, I, I got ch uh, chicken embryos, like, last time we were there. Like, <laughs> embryos? Oh. Embryos, like, almost ready to pop. Like, embryos oh. kind of thing. I've heard of And them. I had to sit there yeah, and yeah, eat, try to eat two of them. They do like that. that. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so, you know. Brooks from Mayday did it. Oh, yeah. And he tried to, like, man up and, like, do it. And I could tell I that he yeah, was that struggling. Yeah, so. For yeah. effective weight loss techniques. Exactly. Because <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> exactly. Well, I think we're about, you know, done for the day. You know, it's, you know, you want to get out there. I want you guys to get out and see some bands today. There's yeah, a lot yeah. of a lot of great young bands out there. There's this little great kid out there. His name is Shot in the Dark, and he's he's about this tall. <laughs> and I was at a I was at a show at the Epicenter show in the in the, in the fall, and this kid just comes up. And he's like tugs on me, and I was sitting up. And I went up to the and I'm just watching. Goes, you're Kevin Lyman, right? He goes, I'm gonna play your tour someday. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're gonna play it next summer. It was just so awesome. Like this <laughs> awesome. little kid. You'll see him around here back. He's got his hair slick back, just looks great, looks like a rock star. He's That's got it. Awesome. And he's like 11. I think I've seen yeah. him. Oh, yeah, if you saw yeah. him, you just know that kid. Like, I think you I've know that image of that wrong. kid that just born for it? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. that's like he's watching a room. That's so and cool. like he's watching a sixth grade class, <laughs> and the girls just go, oh, you know, it's like, <laughs> and he carries his guitar low. He's got his jacket. He's always got a jacket on, Green or killer. like his punk rock that's shirt. Great. So they're playing out there today. A lot of good stuff going on today. And, um, you know, hopefully you'll come out and, you know, see all these guys this summer. and. We'll see you down the road, and it's going to be fun. We're traveling. We're making that turn east, and uh, yeah. all these guys, it grows. And, you know, come visit the John Lennon Stay singer songwriting your bus when it comes yeah. through your town. Yeah. You guys should come over and hang out more and, and play and hang out on this bus. These guys totally. do all kinds of fun stuff here. We're going to make that song, Hey Bro. Hey Bro. Yeah, Hey Bro. Yeah, yeah, hey bro. I call spoons. Hey Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so mad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And with that, we're signing off. <laughs>